Alright guys, just going to get this warm up started. Welcome to Team TFC. Welcome to Love Cycling. And um, so, hold on a minute. Why am I, I I'm going crazy. I, <laughs> why am I such an idiot? I'm thinking I need to be warming up by four. It doesn't matter. I'll warm up. So guys, ignore me because I just had a big brain fart. Um, in fact, I'm going to get my Garmin. Two sets. Um, yeah, so sorry about that. I had to go and get my Garmin. I'm gonna record it on the Garmin because oh, it knows this sensor as well. Okay, that's good. Right, yeah. So we're just warming up. Um, you can see John. John Sigerson, why can't, oh, I can't click on anyone because I'm in a workout. What an idiot. All right, so we're just at our warm up now. Um, well in advance. Um, but that's all good. Let's see now. So let me bring the sheet back up. So, hopefully you saw the um, hopefully you saw the stream earlier. Um, in this stream, no, oh my what's that? This stream is um, it's my race. Um, that's right. The host don't get no rest. Um, so, lead by example, I'm going to be racing up the Alp as well. Now, this full out race, there's three of us. We're, it's a bit touch and go whether Ryan can make it. So, hopefully he can. Um, but we shall see. And so now, I'm just doing my warm up. The race doesn't start till 5 o'clock, so I've actually got 50 minutes until we get going. So a long time. But, um,. It's all good, we get our legs warmed up, get myself on the start, kind of ready to go. Break my power meter just before before we get going now.
Oh, there's Ryan. Hopefully that's a good sign. Cheers, Ryan. Yeah, for some reason, when I come on, I thought my race was at 4.30. Um, and then realised it's at 5, so... Okay. Hey, Blocky, can you hear me? Test, 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 one, two, one, two. Yeah, bad, loud and clear, can you hear me all right? Yep, I'm good. Well, it looks like I made, I made it. So I'm in my warm-up right now. So just to make sure I understand what I do is after my warm-up, because our race starts in less than an hour, right? Yeah, 5 o'clock, so in 45 minutes. Okay. So I just log out, log back in, and then choose ride with you? Yeah, hopefully that works out the easiest way to do it. Um, okay. Yeah, because you can't, once you've done a ride, you can't ride with someone. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, hopefully it'll work. <laughs> yeah, I'm really glad you made it, actually. How's the missus doing? Uh, pretty good today. Um, you know, we're not fully out of the woods. I mean, cancer-wise, right now we're looking good. Um, you know, it came back all clean margins, which that's what we were hoping for. But she starts radiation tomorrow. She does uh, what's called brachytherapy radiation. It's very high-intense radiation site-specific. She does that for two days, and then Tuesday, uh, plastic surgery starts to, you know, try to cover up the mess that the tumor left, basically, once they took it out. Oh, okay. But on the whole, yeah. on the whole, uh, it's on the whole, pretty, pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, she's going to be immobile for a while. She's, uh, they got her wrapped up pretty good. Um, she's in like one of those uh, walking boots, but she can't put any weight on it yet. Most likely she's going to be non-weight bearing for about a month, from what we understand, preliminary. So, um, plastic surgery, the way they explain it is it's kind of a fluid process because they won't know until they get into it on Tuesday exactly what they're going to do to take care of this, you know, because because plastic surgery, when you go to, you know, put new skin out over an area, um, radiation can affect it. And they want to make sure they're doing the right one based on the type of radiation she's getting. So, yeah, they truly aren't even going to know until they get in there Tuesday. Wow. Crazy. Yeah. Yeah. So they're telling us right now that she most likely will be in the hospital probably for about one more week. Um, just to reduce the overall, you know, infection rate and just to make sure it stays clean because they've been taking her and cleaning it and, you know, doing all that kind of stuff. So we'll, we'll, we'll know more Tuesday, I guess, because we really, truly, we, I mean, we know what plastics is going to do eventually, but it's just the fact that they haven't got a set plan on how they're going to approach it until they see it. <laughs> yeah, so, I get you. I get you. Yeah. So, but, yeah, so after 107 miles yesterday, um, 
my legs are actually relatively not as bad as I had expected. But the fact I slept in a uh, hospital reclining chair in her room last night, I am sleep deprived, <laughs> slightly dehydrated, but I did eat a whole pizza, so I'm good, I'm carb loaded. <laughs> yeah, I, but I know what, what sleeping in a hospital chair is like, because didn't long do it with Laura. Yeah. So are you still broadcasting right now or no? I am. I am. Yeah, oh, I'm okay. streaming. I was watching one of your earlier streams, but it said it ended. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, because the stream was like, uh, when was it? It was at 11.30, <coughs> so nearly, nearly four, five hours ago. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, so the, that was the first race. That was between Jeff and Jeff and uh, Dave Kerr. And okay. uh, Dave Kerr, by rights on paper, should have won that. He's 2.4 compared to Jeff's 2.1. And uh, uh -huh. Jeff beat him by about three minutes. No kidding. Wow. Yeah. Um, Dave did have a problem. Like, we didn't... First Jeff dropped out, I don't know what happened there, but then he appeared for the race. He was always there. He must have had some sort of dropout. And then Dave, yeah. about 10 minutes in, just completely disappeared. Although, and he, he <laughs> sort of reappeared and then disappeared for the rest of the race, but he was still cycling and he was still able to give us like his distance. So if you do oh, have okay. a dropout, just keep going, yeah. you know, because um, but yeah, I mean, so Dave couldn't see where Jeff was, but I think with about 12k to go, not 12k, sorry, with probably about 6k into it, we was able to tell him his distance and time and, and everything, so it all worked out all right. Okay. Gotcha. So, here's something funny, I've been doing, the last couple of days I've done some uh, races, um, there's a lot of guys that I'm running into in these various races that I've done, or that 100 miler I did yesterday on Zwift, that are wearing our TFC kit. And I ask them, like, hey, are you part of the team? Because, you know, I've been kind of somewhat out of the loop over the last few weeks. And they're like, no, we just like the kit. So they've barely done our rides and like our kit so much they've been wearing it. Kind of funny. Yeah, well, free advertising. It is a nice kit. It's a very nice kit. Yeah. Actually, there's some newer kits out there I've seen. Uh, over the last week or so since I did the update. And uh, kind of kind of digging some of these new kits they got out here. It's finally, you know, finally they got some more variety in regards to what you're seeing all the time. Yeah, it's nice. Um, by the way, do I give you a bike tip? Do you want a bike tip? Yeah. Sure. Okay, so um, your best bike to go up the Alpha Zwift is the Trekamonda with Millenstein wheels. Okay. And I have both of those. Yeah, so do I. Really? And I didn't realize. I just changed it today. Really? Tron's not the better bike to do that? No, because Tron, Tron's a third best bike for climbing. Um, oh, okay. But I think it's possible that there's new bikes since this store update. And they need reviewing, to be honest. But the, from the last yeah, review... Yeah, I was reading an article about that. They haven't reviewed a lot of the bikes yet and tested them. Yeah, but the, the Amonda has been reviewed over the Tron. And the Amonda, with a combination of the mill and sign wheels, is the lightest bike and the best bike oh, okay. for climbing. <laughs> Shouldn't have told you that. I <laughs> I'll make that change here in a little bit then. Yeah, it's weird because your avatar performs completely differently. Like on the Tron, he's just in one position the whole time. With this, yeah. Yeah. he's going into draft mode and all that, aero. That's pretty cool. Doesn't drink water all the damn time. <laughs> no, he doesn't. <laughs> that gets so annoying after a while. So I was doing that 100-mile uh, group ride. It was the BMTR 100-mile group ride. 
I tell you what, I mean, not knocking our group, right? But that was probably one of the best behaved group rides I have ever been part of. Um, they uh, probably had about a hundred or so people total in to start with. Of course, you got your you know few flyers that don't want to stick with Beacon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But for the most part, for the most part, through a hundred K, there was probably about fifty to sixty that stuck in the group. At 100K, they uh, did a five minute nature break. You know, the beacon stopped and I would say probably wow. 30 to 40 people stopped. And then I misjudged the time, but I got back on and started pedaling, but they caught up to me within like a few minutes. And I mean, it's pretty much stuck together all the way to the end. And I was like, wow, this is impressive that they behave this well. <laughs> That's crazy. That's really good, actually. Yeah. But seriously, that is, trainer-wise, that's my best hundred, best century time, trainer-wise, by, by nearly 60 minutes. Wow. So that's uh, that's a uh, imperial century, isn't it? You're talking about 100 yeah. miles. Yeah. 100 miles. And uh, I was like, damn. And... When you're talking, you know, versus real life, it's probably just shy of a 30-minute PR from my in real life uh, century. Oh, okay. When when was your in real life century? Uh, I did one last summer. Um, pretty good conditions, and we had about a there was probably a group of 10 of us that stuck it out pretty much for the most part until for the last 10 miles. Uh, we were trying to pull pretty hard because we were about to go under five hours and uh, some of the guys pulled a lot harder than what I could do and uh, broke me but I still finished at 501 so oh that's pretty good 501 ride time um, they were sporadic breaks it's not like this was a race it was more just a, you know your typical type tour so yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean overall time I think it was like overall with breaks included, it was like six something. But. Oh, right, yeah, but your ride time was like five, just over five. Yeah, 501. So I was like, hey, that's pretty cool. I think, oh, I'll have to go back. I think I'm just over five, and that's entire ride time with any breaks. And that was the Ride London 100. Oh wow. Yeah, but the thing is, if you're clever, you can just draft people the whole time. Yeah. Oh yeah. One of the guys I rode with last year, uh, I've known him for quite a while, but that's all he does. He won't pull. He'll draft you the entire damn way. <laughs> yeah, me, me and my mate did that. We. I mean, we did pull, and when, when we had to pull, we pulled, but only uh -huh. because there was no one else to pull. Otherwise, we were sitting on wheels. <laughs> <laughs> so why do you have me at a 9.6 in this thing? I mean, you didn't ask you that. Ah, uh, it's just a joke. I, don't, I didn't know what your FTP was. I didn't want to ask you because you've got too much shit going on, yeah. and I couldn't be bothered looking on Swift Power, and I thought you might find it funny. And as you're That's full of confidence, much. as am I, I thought you might like that. <laughs> well, my uh, per Zwift Power, my best ride so far was actually the uh, Ford Zwift Alp, Alp Climb, and I think I got a uh, 295 on that. And then, according to Zwift Power, my 30 or 30 or 60 day best is 3.01. So, oh shit. Oh, uh, so, so you're three point zero. You think you're three point zero one, yeah? Well, that's what Zip Power is telling me. I mean, if you go to my Zip Power page, um, let's see. Oh, three point zero five. 
95% of 20 minutes, 281 watts, 3.05. And I'm pretty sure that was the Alp. That's interesting because you you have a better time than me up the Alp. Yeah. But remember, I'm a lot fatter than you do. I'm about, I think, what, a, what am I listed right now? 90.7 kilos. Yeah, well, all the more that I, I'm, I should have a better time than you up the Alp. I've got a better watts per kilo. So. Uh -huh. I should be better than you up the Alps. I obviously have not been doing it right. That's what I yeah, like I about this race though. It's not just like, like look at the last race, Jeff. 0.3 of a difference and he, he smashed him by three minutes because he just, Dave has never ridden this mountain so he doesn't know what it's like. And <laughs> he didn't pace it. I saw him at the start and he went off at like uh, three, 2.8 and I'm thinking, yeah, keep going, buddy. You're gonna die. <laughs> yeah, you can start off strong, but if you don't have the endurance to climb, you're screwed. Charlie and I one day did a uh, Alp ride, training ride, and uh, he had kicked my ass once before, and uh, I, I was having a good day, and I was just kind of punching it. Uh, I, I tell you what, most part of that Alp ride, I was out of the saddle, um, and. Uh, I ended up beating him by like three or four minutes. I mean, you just never know what's going to happen. No, you don't, and you don't know whether you're going to have an off day mentally. Like, like look, you're tired now, so that's gonna that's gonna affect you. I'm telling you, it may do you by like oh, two, three percent or more. <laughs> oh God, yes. I'm. Uh, I got my water set in here. Just before I log back in, I'm going to go take a. Uh, nature break, grab my cup of coffee, and here we go, because it's only like, uh, what time is it here? It's 11.30 right now here in the morning, so, you know, I'm still I'm still working coffee break, still working my coffee down me. Yeah, cool. I, I, this is a bit of a weird one for me, because I didn't know, shall I eat, like, before or after? So what I've done, I've just had, like, a little bit of pasta at 3 o'clock, so that gives me two hours to digest it, and yeah, I won't be starving. <laughs> I'm at the Alp, when you're done your warm up, I'm there, so, I mean, we've got half an hour anyway, but just so you know. Yeah, I'm gonna get about a mile or two more in, and then I'm gonna hop, log off, and get back on, so. Now, this, this Brian fella, I think he's from Canada, I think. Yeah, Brian, yeah, um, is he from Canada? I'm not, he from sure. The I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Uh, is that, I, I think he, I'm not sure if he's the one that Charlie recruited, and if, it, if it, he's the one I'm thinking of, then he's actually not too far away from me here. But I, I can't keep people straight half the damn time, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not too sure, I'm not too sure. Um, but let's have a look at our Watts per Kilo. So you're 3.05. Brian is 3.1 and I'm 3.14. Uh, let's see. Now, Brian is from Michigan. He's actually not too far away from me, me I think. So he's, he's U.S. Uh, let's see. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, he's from Michigan. He's probably about... I mean, I don't know him personally. But uh, he's probably about 30, 45 minute drive away from where I live. Oh wow, so you guys could actually meet up and go for a ride. And you're really close together, like power wise? Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, unfortunately where I live at, it's not a truly bike friendly metropolitan area. Mm -hmm. um, so there's this, uh, what they call a metro park out here. Um, there's a bunch of them, but there's the one that based on where I think he lives at, um, it's kind of like in between us. And uh, a lot of the cyclists, triathletes, etc., cetera, um, train there. And it's a huge training area because it's, it's controlled traffic. Um, people, people are very familiar with the cyclists out on the road, actually. So it's, uh, it's a pretty cool place. So I'm sure he's trained there before. I just gotta catch up with him one day when he's there. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's. I mean, where I live, it's. It's. Uh, I mean, you cycle, but it's not. It's not. It's like 
half the drivers are not cycle friendly. I normally get abused every time I go out. <laughs> yeah. Like even from drivers on the other side of the road, I'm not even affecting whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> now, when you ride open roads out where you're at, do you ride in the same direction traffic's going, or do you ride against traffic? Oh, a hundred percent in the same direction. I never ride against traffic. No way. Okay. Yeah, some areas have different rules. That's why I was kind of curious. Yeah. No. No. Um, I mean. T- I don't know. Most dri- most drivers are decent. You just get the odd idiot all the time. Yeah, oh, true. that's a big group ride going up the up. Now, like around here, there's this one route I ride to get to to that park I was just talking about. Um, and uh, for the most part of it, for the first 10k, I actually have to ride sidewalks because there's no way in hell I would put this bike on a road. <laughs> and then I ride park path, pretty much, uh, I would say probably about 10, 12 miles after that. And then it's back on open road, but that section of open road is actually, I would say a little more rider friendly because you're near the park and people are familiar with it for the most part. So. But if I'm doing any kind of road riding, I have my radar on my radar blinker light on the back, so it lets me know when cars are coming up on me. Okay, so I, I'm just reading. Uh, Brian has actually posted. Um, he says he's on his way. His two-year-old is having a rough go for her nap, uh, and then he says, "Who needs a warm-up?" <laughs> oh well, you know. Yeah, I know that problem. I I streamed the the first stream with Jeff and um. Oh God, why do I keep forgetting his bloody name? Dave, Jeff and Dave. This morning I had the baby most of the time, and she would keep screaming at the telly. So, um, if you're gonna watch that one, <laughs> be warned. Oh, you know you're going to get open mic from me all the way up. Oh, yeah. I will say, you know, a lot of the races I can do where I'm hitting hitting the button to shut my mic off. But this one, it's going to have to be open mic just because I know the climb is pretty brutal. You know, for seven, what is it, 7.2 miles. I mean, you don't get any reprieve from that shit. No, no. Um. So I'll try and behave and keep my... Uh, Keep my uh, swearing to a minimal. Ah, oh, don't worry <laughs> about that. It's not a. This, this is not a kids' channel. <laughs> <laughs> well, I seen you had your little one on earlier with you, so I wasn't sure. <laughs> nah, nah, she she won't be here for this one. I can't. I can't. I, I'm good, but I can't carry her and ride up the race up the Zwift. <laughs> <laughs> how old your uh, How old your kid? She's gonna be nine months in seven days. Okay, my uh, my granddaughter is going to be ten months uh, this month. <laughs> ah man, what's she what's she? My, young, my youngest my youngest granddaughter too. <laughs> wow, is she what's she doing? Is she crawling? Is she what's she what's she up to? Uh, she just started crawling like two weeks ago. Oh um, wow, okay. She just popped her first two teeth like three days ago oh my yeah yeah she's just she's just doing that the same thing two bottom teeth yeah so how's she doing uh, with her teeth because mine's like really not bothered at the moment well we're not sure the last the day she popped her two teeth we well the day before she popped her two teeth she was in for her checkup at the doctor and the doctor didn't think she was going to be getting any for a while and then the next day oh my god there's two teeth and she she's been kind of sick the last couple of days, so we're thinking that the sickness is probably because of the teething. Yeah, you know, not yeah. like super sick, but you know, just has a better self and not feeling good, and you know. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. But they also just started her on uh, the baby, you know, the pureed baby food chicken. So, you know, we don't know if that's it or what's going on, but the doctor wanted her on more protein. So, 
whole combination of things there that could be causing it. Who knows? Yeah, yeah. Sometimes you never do get to the bottom of things, but um, yeah. Yeah, Laura's um, Laura's been crawling since five and a half months. Um, she's been standing up by pulling herself up since six and a half months, and um, she's now okay. trying to freestand, like get up by herself without holding on to anything. It's quite funny to watch, actually. It's really funny, and she laughs while she's doing it because she stacks it every time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I am logging off right now for my warm up. Good. If everyone does this, it should go smoothly. <laughs> yeah. Alright. So I'm gonna click uh well, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna stay off for a second and then I'll log back on and do a ride with. Are you over by the Alp right now then? Uh, y yeah, yeah, I'm here now, um, but you may have trouble finding me. Like, I may need to just step on the pedals, and also, you may not see me even then, because you may need to swap worlds, like, just flick between whatever world's available and back to Autopia, because it, it's a bit, it's a bit funny. It should be all right, but it can be okay. a bit funny. But okay. yes, I am here. Okay, I'm, uh, I'll still, I'm going to stay on the score, but I'm going to go to mute. Um, and I'm going to be taking my headset off for a little bit, so uh, um, I'll be back in a couple minutes, and then hopefully it'll all work out. Yeah, cool. No worries, bud. Okay. See you in a few. See ya. All right. So... So who we got next? So guys, apologies, but uh, let me just check this stream's working okay as well. Oh, actually, I can just. Yeah. Does that one work? Yes, it does. Um, if I don't mute that. Right. Um, Okay, that's interesting. Right, guys, I am not going to be chatting on YouTube chat simply because I'm going to be racing on the Alp. Um, so if you want to chat, chat amongst yourself by all means and I can answer any questions after, but uh, now and during, I will not be chatting on YouTube chat. So it looks like I'm kind of, according to paper, favourite here. Um, Ryan's come out with some pretty good and viable excuses. Um, I'm just going to pop to Lou, which is right here, so I don't have to go far. So excuse the noise. It's so nice having a loo in your man cave. If you ain't got a loo in your man cave, it ain't a man cave. It ain't a man cave. Oh jeez. Stop, you little shit. Oh yeah, oh, that worked. No, don't. Oh, I wanted to, uh...
wanted to calibrate my... Oh no, I don't think I'll bother. I'll just leave it like it is. Screw it. Perfect. Okay, at least that works. Okay, so we still got another 17 minutes till we kick off. See what's going on. See if I can get the uh, YouTube chat up. I said I won't. I won't be doing it during, but um, I can certainly have a quick chat now. Make sure that's muted. Yes, we are. <laughs> Ryan Paul Discord, yes, Jim. Yeah. Oh, you know you're inside out. Oh, that's going a little bit too far, but yeah. I didn't make that sound manly enough, did I? The older break. Um, check, check, check. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, all good, Ryan. All good. Ah, uh, it works. Ryan knows the struggles I've had with this. <laughs> yeah, we got you. I'm just getting ready to get set up and log in here in a minute. I was rushing to get my uh, two-year-old down for a nap, but she's uh, finally asleep. <laughs> yeah, that kind of puts a uh, you know, damper on things when you can't get the uh, kids to go to sleep. <laughs> Fortunately for me, I can get my grandkids back, and I'm just like, here, I'm done. Dog ears. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> yep. Hey, uh, Blocky, go check out uh, the Help Do Z Zwift uh, thread where uh, Brian and I have been yapping on. I just posted something there you'll get a kick out of. Where's that, in the event? Yeah, in the event there on that thread where Brian and I have been going back and forth a little bit. Oh, I would if I could find it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've clicked on event on the Team TFC page. I can do this on my phone, no problem, but because I can just select hosting, so I can see the one that I'm hosting. I need to uh, tag you in it. I like that. We uh, the Flash. Are you nine nine point eight? Lost your kilogram all the way up the up. Yeah, well, you know that's Andrew's fault. <laughs> oh, I got it now. There's no it. freaking way I'm gonna go. No, I don't even pull 9.8 barely on a sprint sometimes. Hey, that's really weird. What's that? Oh, the sound. Oh, no, nothing. Forget it. Don't worry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, you're from Michigan, right? Brian? Uh, yeah, first of all, okay. <laughs> I am, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I live uh, Lake Orion, so I'm just uh, okay. up, uh, yeah. up the road from you. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, let's see. There's Andrew, all right. All right, with. I am so hungry today. I'm just like non-stop hungry all day. <laughs> yeah, and I'm the one who did 100 miles. <laughs> yeah, right. I, I normally put on more weight than 100. I see you, Ryan. <laughs> yep, you're right in front of me. So, 
Um, at around five o'clock, which I don't know what time that is. Well, in 13 minutes, um, I'm just going to send a message saying go, go, go. But we're not going to sprint, Ryan. We're just going to roll up. <laughs> we're all going to roll together to that little white stone over there, which is the start of the com, as you probably know. Okay. Um, and that's where we're going to hopefully, I mean, even if we're a second out no, or two seconds, no big deal. Um, unless you beat me by a second, then it's a big deal. Um, <laughs> but hopefully we're going to cross that line together and obviously, you know, start your race because that's where the actual com starts. Um, so that's where the race starts. So the idea, we just we all roll together to that to that line, and then once it goes, once we cross, we just go for it. We we do what we we need to do. Okay. All right. Yeah, that sounds good. I'm not with you guys, but I'll. Uh... Teleport there in about uh, five minutes. Yeah, that's cool, mate. We've still got another 12 minutes, so it's all good. Uh, Brian, if you have uh, any trouble finding us to ride to the ride with feature, just just let us know, bud. We'll, we'll sort something out. We'll, we'll wait for you so that there's no stress. Our race is at five o'clock, which is long before anyone else's. Um, I'm doing that so in order I can live stream the rest of the events. Yeah, I watched a little bit of the, uh, the event this morning with your commentary and your uh, little girl. That's <laughs> super cute. Oh, yeah, until she started getting hungry and then screaming at the telly, just random screams. She was going nuts. Huh. That's funny. Yeah, she's in a pretty good mood today. Um, which she she doesn't want to be. She doesn't want me me to put her down. She don't want anyone to put her down at all. Um, pretty much the whole day. Well, up until about an hour ago. Um, but her nanny, her grandmother, as uh, she's been here for three months from Mauritius, and she went back last night. So I don't I don't think she realizes, but she's kind of like a bit emotional. Like where is she? Sort of thing. Yeah, that doesn't stop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I heard the two-year-old is is the hardest one. They they find everything to like a uh, the end of the world sort of thing. That's what I've heard. Yeah, my, old, my oldest granddaughter is uh, two and a half, and uh, she is kind of she's kind of a drama queen to begin with, and then she is just into everything. Yeah, I heard they have like tantrums just because like maybe there's a, you know, a, a corner of a bit of food missing or something. It's just really stupid. Right, what's the... So for example, you can make them exactly what they want and then they tell you they don't want it. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, yeah. That... Yeah, well, Lara's like that anyway. We have to cook her about ten different bits of food. Uh, she'll like it one day, and the next day she don't want to know of it. It's yeah. I didn't do that. I didn't do that. Hey, why did you take off? You're cheating already. Damn it, Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what happened? I literally just touched the pedal. I, and I'm going to take a screenshot of that. Andrew's cheating. <laughs> you don't need to. It's on video. Touch the pedal at uh, 10.5 kilowatts per <laughs> gram. <laughs> yeah, what, what's your weight at? Like, you know, 10 kilograms or something? Jesus, you're going to fly up that mountain. <laughs> I don't know what, what happened there. I literally barely touched the pedal and it, it was gone. Oh, have you, Ryan, you've got that stupid hat on as well. Yeah, it's the Peaky Blinders hat. <laughs> it, it'll slow you down. It's got no, uh, no air up. Uh, unfortunately, hats and clothing don't make a difference in Zwift. It's just bike and wheels, basically. Well, and your weight. Oh, Brian, that's the thing. Yeah, I too, what bike yeah. are you riding? I was gonna, I'm, I'm on an ultimate right now, but I think I'm going to switch to the Ananda. With a million sign wheels, yeah. Would you've gotten them already? Is there any other wheel we should ride? 
the best, the best the best wheels are the Millensteins. So if you got them, use them. We're both on that. Yeah, I just got the Millensteins after it took me fifteen tries up that freaking Alp to get them. I didn't even know I had them. I had no idea. I was just like, oh, that's cool. I got them. Yeah. Yeah, are you guys both on the Immortal then? Should I uh, switch? I mean, if we want to keep it, you know, at least some fairness to the whole thing. Nah, screw fairness. Anyway, I've always, like, I've always believed, like, like I've, I, I always had the crappier bike. <laughs> I've always had the crappier bike amongst my friends, and it's like, you know what I mean? It just it's more ple- if you beat someone on a crappier bike, it's so much more fulfilling. Uh, this is going to be interesting. This will be the first time I've climbed the Alp with my new chain ring and cassette that I uh, just put on. So, hey! oh, now Brian, now hey! Brian is cheating. Jesus Christ, man! Look I, I, I just, I just threw you guys. I wasn't trying to cheat. I swear to God, you guys are all scared of me. <laughs> Brian, have you got your keypad? Have you got like a keyboard available? Oh, wow. uh, I do, but it's, it's not in a good spot. All right, don't worry about it. Let's just really soft pedal uh, up to Brian. It's only two meters ahead, anyway, isn't it? Right. That means I got to get back on the bike. I'm sitting here stretching. <laughs> I'm tight from yesterday a little bit. Good. Yeah, sorry about that. I I blew up to you guys. I tapped the pedals, and then I went two meters. <laughs> nah, that's cool. I just shot off on one just before that anyway by accident. I don't know what happened. I don't want to pedal too much, but <laughs> you know, it's not like I'm trying to sprint up to you. Oh, there we go. Okay, now I'm now I'm. Oh my hard. God! Look at him. <laughs> Look. Oh, he had to do it, didn't he? No, that's fine. That's cool. I'm, I'm happy with that. It's really fine. I'll just draft you guys anyway. No, so Brian, yeah, just to reiterate, we're going to roll up. I'm going to message everyone. In fact, let me just send a quick message now, so ch- make sure it's working okay. Two secs. Which is not. <laughs> this is going to suck. <laughs> yeah, this is going to suck. Did you both see my message? Yep. Yeah, yeah sure. so, so I'm just going to say go, go, go at five o'clock. Um, when I do, don't rush. We just roll up as close as we can to that line. Once we hit the line together, um, don't worry if you're one or two seconds ahead, but hit, try and hit the line together to make it as fair as possible. And then we're just basically racing from that line all the way to the end of the com. Mm-hmm. Sounds good, man. Yeah. And then once we get to the top, we switch to the time trial bikes, and then we uh, see who's the fastest downhill. <laughs> Sounds fun, but I'll probably be dead by the time I get to the top. <laughs> yeah. Ryan, I was lost here. Did you drop? Me? No, I'm still here. No, I don't, I don't see it at all on the map. I don't see uh, Andrew. Uh-oh. I see you. Oh, I see. Oh, this happened before with um, the other two guys. Do not worry. Um, stay just do your race as if we are there um, and we'll keep in contact even if you drop out completely just keep keep racing okay yeah no worries yeah in fact Ryan you keep you back you disappear for a second and you come back I think if you sit idle for too long you just disappear but it's not like you're out of the game yeah, strange. I don't think he was idle for n- long enough, and he did not drop out of my screen one for one second. Yeah, none of you did off of my screen either. This is definitely glitching. It's something to do with their updates. There's there's just glitches. Yeah. <clears throat> Could also be internet so, problems. So Andrew, I I got an idea for a, for a challenge. I'm gonna figure out how to set up a uh, webcam, and I'm gonna broadcast it. And I'm going to do the Alp, and I'm going to do one beer per turn. <laughs> and then you're going to die? Pretty much, yeah. Oh, this won't be a fast ride by any means. <laughs> what do you mean you're but going to there's... do one beer? What, you're going to drink a beer every turn you go? Yeah, one beer per corner up there. That's, so that's 21, what, 20, beers. 21 beers. You're going to die by the time you get to the top. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe one beer every two turns. 
You're crazy. You got to remember, I you know I've done stupid stuff like I did a beer mile where I ran sub eight minutes in a beer mile. That's that's a beer. That's that's beer, beer, beer dumb stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's one beer dumb. every four hundred meters. Oh my god! Right, two minutes, guys. I'm surprised more people haven't jumped on Discord just to listen to us banter back and forth. Wow, they can see it. It's all been streamed on YouTube. Uh, hold on, I've been on my phone here. So are we the last ones to race then? No, we're like the second race. There's a lot of races starting at... Uh, 6.58 to be precise around about 7 o'clock uh, GMT so in about 2 hours oh, okay. the main well gotcha. I say the main I say a lot of races kick off about then the first race was at 11.30 this morning our time uh, we're the second lot um, but I need to like be an hour at least before the other lot go off so I can live stream and commentate so I think uh, Ryan said hold on he's yeah. He's getting his phone, so we'll wait for him. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Just now. <laughs> Are you I good, Ryan? Fix that problem. Yeah, let's do it. All right, bear with me. So when you see the go, 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 we start rolling. Okay. Oh, I am not wanting to do this today. All right. Are we using uh, power ups? I mean, if you get the feather, or is it power up free race? By the way, I should uh, clarify that because you do get three of them on the uh, on the way up. I'm I'm good with either power or no power. Well, when I did my PR, I did it without power up, so I'll figure you, that. If time. you want to use a power up, use a power up. Let's go, guys. Okay. All right, sounds hey, good. Hey, 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 hey. Hold it down, Brian. Hold it down. Keep going. Don't stop. Don't stop. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm going as slow as I can. Here we go. It's all good. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Yeah. Of course, Blocky has to start in front of us. Well, I, I didn't say stop pedaling, I just said, like, calm down. Oh, we've got no, got no fan. So if you want to use power-ups, by all means, use them. Expecting this ride will be nothing but heavy breathing. <laughs>
doing? Bailed out? Come on now, let's talk a little bit. Oh yeah, this is fun. Oh yeah, let's get some of this hill. Just a speed bump boys, just a speed bump.
we doing, guys? How we doing? How we doing? How we doing? Come on, give me some heads up. I don't see any of your beacons. I can't see ya. I just hit turn seven. Just give me a heads up where I'm at. I'm about 400 meters behind you. Yeah, I'm even farther back. I'm hitting turn eight right now. You're not too far behind. My uh, tire blew. I'm out. Damn. Trying to get a kicker. I don't believe you. Yeah. Oh, shit, that was loud. Damn it. I don't believe me.
Ryan, where are you lying? What's that? Why are you lying? Uh, I'm gonna punch six. Here. I'm gonna punch in six here. Oh, son of a bitch. This hurts. Just telling you. Come on, Andrew. Thought you were good. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna trash talk you a little bit. You know I got you. You ain't getting in my mind, bro. That just means you're doing. I'm gonna try harder. Means. This sucks so bad. I'm so pissed.
I suppose I get to watch the uh, the live stream here and uh, see Andrew suffer. <laughs> Also try and toggle between the two of us. Give updates. Your middle finger, nice touch. Yeah, here. Oh, let, me, yeah. Uh, let me help that guy. What you mean? I knew it. Son of a bitch. <sighs> <laughs> Come on. My calculations, I'm about a minute, a minute up on Andrew right now. Yeah, I think you're about right. I'm trying to figure out how to spec it here so I can jump between you guys.
Holy shit. Come on. Right on one.
I'm still going for sub 60. I mean, no offense, Andrew, but I'm going to push hard. You got him, buddy. You got this. Oh, my God, sir. It's going to be a PR either way for me. Yep, me too. Yeah, you guys are flying. All right, Andrew. This is what makes yeah. it good. It makes it fun. Yeah. Bitch. <laughs> I think I'm going to die. And I did not use one single power up, guys. Pat yourself in the back. God damn it. Fifty-eight oh nine. Mother of God, Father. Holy shit. Really freaking Lord. Come on, Andrew, push. Push, baby, push. Come on, you got this. Finish strong, finish strong. Come on, legs. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Yeah, it was nice work. 59, 41. Ah! You know what this means, Ryan? Yeah, that I uh, lived up to the hype. <laughs> yeah, that. And you got a world of pain in front of you. What's that? You have a world of pain in front of you. Oh, you ain't kidding. I'd say that's a B promotion. I can't wait to see what my FGP is going to say. <sighs> Jesus You're God. a sick man, Ryan. Seriously. That pace he said at the beginning, I thought, no way is he holding that. So I'm dropping my weight to like 40 kilos for the group ride, just letting y'all know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't blame you. Oh, boy. What a ride. Good grief. Good luck, guys. Man, I'm awesome. How'd you get on, Brian? Are you done? What's that? Are you done? Yeah, I'm going to coast down. Just spin the legs on the way down. No, no, Brian, Brian, are you done? Oh, oh. yeah, my, yeah, my tire blew. Oh, it was you. See, I thought it was Ryan talking, and I was like, Ryan, why are you lying? Because I see your avatar, like your point moving on the map. <laughs> uh, no, 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 I, I come around turn, turn uh, six, and I was uh, starting to, to hammer it up, uh, that long stretch there, and then my tire just explode. Oh my god, how's your luck? Well, well done, man, you still done really well then, what time have you actually got? 
Uh, I ended up, uh, I, I was uh, probably about a minute behind you, but I ended up just dropping out of the, uh, dropping out of the ride, because I, I can't fix it until, uh... Yeah, no, fair play, man, fair play. He tired blows, that's, that's, you know, game over. Woo! That was fun. Yeah, that was a, that was a hell of a ride. Painful. <laughs> Andrew, I'll tell you one thing. You had me a little worried early on. I, uh, I wasn't sure, and I knew what you were, I knew what you were trying to do, by the way. You were trying to goat me into riding hard with you, and I'm like, nope. I'm just going to stay steady with what I knew I could do. I just wanted to see what you had, and it appears you had a bit, bit more than me, unfortunately. <laughs> well, I knew what you were trying to do when you were zipped by me. I was like, oh, he's going to try and goat me into going with him and see if he can break me. Well, I know you I know you like a sprint, but I also know that sprint takes a lot out of you, so I wanted you to sprint real hard, but you didn't. No. No, I was like, I knew I could go through the first 10 turns, um, 300 or better. And that's what my goal was, to hold the first 10 turns, 300 or better on the uh, watt average. And then I was able to hit a few more at that before I started really, uh, I died towards the end, believe me. <laughs> oh yeah, I lost 20, 30 watts towards the end of that. I think my lowest was a 262 on one of the turns, and then my highest was like a 340 on one of them. Wow. That was yeah. ridiculous. Jeez. <sighs> That was brutal. <coughs> I didn't even drink a whole thing of water either. And I still got coffee left. Damn, boy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't believe we did it in sub one minute, man. Because I've never done that before. Oh, well, I wish I could do it in sub one minute. Then I'd be on the pro circuit. But that's beside the point. <laughs> you know what I mean. You know what I mean. <laughs> Well, I'm going to have to make sure you post this link of your uh, live feed somewhere so I can uh, watch. I want to rewatch it. Just if you subscribe, I'm not trying to get you to subscribe, but if you did subscribe, then you can just like go on the link. Yeah, you, know, you don't have to wait for the link post or anything. Yeah, I've subscribed to you. I just got to log in under my right login. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it, it'll take about, it'll take uh, an hour or, well, maybe half an hour for it, it comes on the actual. YouTube. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah, I got my own channel, but I don't broadcast much anymore. I used to when I was ultra running, but I don't do that much anymore. Whew. Oh, cool. So I'm going to let my guy go down the uh, mountain, and I'm going to go and grab a shower, because in 50 minutes time, I need to be ready for the next set of races. Oh, I got a long night. Yeah, that was a. Uh, thanks for putting this together. That was a lot of fun, and uh, yeah. looking forward to watching uh, how everybody else lands. Ah, uh, no problem, man. I think next, next, uh, next test will be the four horsemen. <laughs> I think that right. <laughs> oh yeah. But I do love climbing. Right, I've got to go and have a shower, guys. Well done, Ryan. Well done, All Brian. Right. And uh, hey, catch you later. Yeah. Alright, see you guys. Bye. Bye. Uh, I'm gonna stop the stream and uh, start another one when I get back. See you later.